Owners of a downtown country bar feel forced to make drastic changes this weekend. Chevy's place will be closing its doors because of social distancing guidelines. Ariel Onstott live to break down what they're doing. And Ariel, they say they just wouldn't make enough money to justify staying open under these social distancing guidelines. Yeah, Melissa, that was one of the issues. At the end of the day, they said, hey, we are going to choose to close because it's too difficult to keep up with everything and make sure that people can stay seated. John Scott here, one of the managers of Chevy's Place, you were telling me that it really is, once it passed a certain time, once alcohol is involved, it's very difficult for you to have the staff to make sure people are actually adhering to these guidelines. Oh yeah, no, and, and as I said, it's, it's very frustrating because social distancing goes out the door. A bar environment is not set up to social distance, right? Bars are not made for six feet apart, and bars are not made for people to stay in one spot. So yeah. it's difficult in of itself. Exactly, and, 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 and you know, as we were talking earlier, it's, it's so people like to go out and dance. Well, now you social distance the dancing. So, you know, it's, we live in a world now where Footloose is real. <laughs> We're wondering what Kevin Bacon is, if it makes any sense. So what is it like? I know that you guys put a lot of money into renovating your bathrooms. I see picnic tables out here that you've bought. You've expanded a whole side porch area to make sure that people can distance more effectively. And now you're deciding to close your doors after you put all the money into that. What's that like? It's frustrating. It's frustrating. And the thing is, we just want to be in compliance. We don't want any problems with anybody. But ultimately, when the city's hands are tied by the state, look, they passed the law to do to go. Right? They're, they're passing all kinds of new liquor laws because of COVID. You're telling me you can't pass something? So at the end of the day, your frustration is mainly with the state. You say, obviously, the city's hands are tied trying to make sure that they follow state guidelines as well. I know bars in Cleveland have actually signed on to a lawsuit saying that some of these guidelines are vague and actually open them up to lawsuit from patrons. What's next for you guys? Could you see that being in the future? Now, look, I don't think it would go that far here. Ultimately, Dora is going to solve a lot of our problem, and it's in three weeks. But for us, that three-week hit, that could be seventy, eighty thousand dollars we're missing out on right. because we're not in the Dora district. Already, with the fact that we're cutting back because of social distancing and everything else, that's a huge hit. And the Dora district, of course, being where people can walk around with a cup of alcohol outside yes. of bars. You're ten feet away from that and waiting for that to expand. John Scott, thank you so much. Coming up in the next 30 minutes, we'll discuss some of the other challenges that thank you're you. facing uh, regarding COVID-19 and those social distancing guidelines. Like many bar owners I've spoken with, they want to make sure they're in compliance, but it's a difficult beast to manage past a certain time and once alcohol gets involved. We'll discuss more of that coming up in the next 30 minutes. Reporting live, I'm Ariel Onstott, WTOL 11.